We're here with Kyle Welch today with uh, Guitar Picks. He selected 20 songs for us. Can you tell us basically how you came up with your list? Well, when you asked me to do the interview, I sat down and said, well, okay, 20 songs. What's the easiest way to come up with that? So I dissected actually my life as a guitar player and said, okay, well, how did I get turned on to, to music in the first place? And I, I just remember, you know, of course the influence comes a lot from your parents and the stuff that my, my dad was listening to. He used to listen to the Zeppelin and the Stones and uh, some folk artists. He liked um, Jim Croce, which I think is on the list. And, uh, you know, things and, you know, the Beach Boys and things like that that I remember listening to growing up. So that was kind of like the first part. And then the second part was, well, how did I get turned on specifically to playing guitar? And then I, you know, so I started picking those songs out, which, you know, I came up with you know, Zeppelin and Van Halen and mm -hmm. then things like that. And then just sort of how did I progress through, you know, learning things as I went into high school in, you know, the early 90s, of, you know, listening to Megadeth and Metallica and, and pretty hard rock. And then as I graduated high school and went to college to study music, my tastes got a little more uh, sophisticated. More refined. More refined, maybe. Ah. And uh, so, you know, there's some things at the end of the list and then sort of where I am now as a guitar player, which encompasses all of that. Okay. Uh, onto the list, uh, you don't mess around with Jim, Jim Croce. My father would always have Jim Croce records on. He was, he was a big fan of that, and, and as well as other stuff. And so, don't just mess around with Jim. I just remember the hook in that was great. I mean, not so much as, as a guitar player, but I just remember hearing it. It was a simple song, and you know, just driving, but you know, just hooky kind of songwriting, which which I thought that was great. Um, so, how old were you when when you remember? Oh, uh, you don't mess around with Jim. I probably remember the first time hearing it, I was probably like 10 or uh -huh. younger. You know, I just thought that the, the chorus of that song, you know, was great. And it told a story, which I, which I always thought was, was a neat thing, because it you went from beginning to end in three and a half minutes or less mm -hmm. and told a whole story. Whereas if you get music now, uh, one of the things that kind of makes me sad about music is you don't have that same kind of storytelling going on in, uh -huh. in a lot of things, you mm -hmm. know. And, and, and some of it you do. You kind of have to search to find it. But... That that to me was was really I thought it was really cool. I was like, wow, in three and a half minutes. That guy told me a whole story, <laughs> and and I was like, I, I can you know just want to learn how to you know how did he do that? And so I started. I was already studying music. I was mm -hmm. started as a trumpet player in like the oh, in okay. the fifth grade, and, and did that all the way through high school too. You know, but I, I said, wow, that, you know, there's only like a four or five piece band, and it's more rock, and it's not like a big orchestra. And so I started focusing in on that. So what prompted you to kind of switch to from horn to guitar? Well. <laughs> For lack of a better word, the horn wasn't as cool. <laughs> when I was uh, when I was 15, I got a guitar for my birthday, uh -huh. and I had wanted one. And uh, my brother was already playing bass in a band, and I just thought that was, you know, the coolest thing since sliced bread. And so <laughs> my parents got me a guitar, and you know, just you know, when I heard, you know, bands that you know, hard rock, and I just thought, oh, wow, I want to learn to play guitar. And so that's kind of how I switched. Even though I did both instruments all the way through high school and then when I got out I did my first semester at UNCG mm -hmm. as a trumpet major mm -hmm. and then decided that it really wasn't for me so left music school for a while and came back as a guitar major. It's Brainwash with Dr. Tom and Guitar Picks with Kyle Welch, Led Zeppelin, Stairway to Heaven. It's hard to have a Guitar Picks list without that on there. Oh man, Or yeah. maybe it's too easy to put that on there. When I was put, I was like, man, everybody knows you know, Stairway to Heaven, and everybody's going to say, the only thing that kept going through my head was the scene in Wayne's World, where he's buying the guitar, and the guy goes, no stairway, no stairway. And, uh, but I remember the first time I heard it, it was like a religious experience. I remember where I was, too, we were, my dad was driving us to school, and we had on the, the you know, one of the rock stations, and it came on, and I was like, wow, what, you know, what is that? And, you know, I'm probably only 10 or so, and you know, I asked my dad, I said, dad, who's that? He's like, that's Led Zeppelin. So, we, of course, we went home, and we dug out the vinyls, and we put them on. And um, you know, been a huge Zeppelin fan. Zeppelin is my, in my opinion, is the greatest rock band of all time. All right, it's on the record now, right? On the record, I've said it. If anybody has a problem with it, I'm sorry, but I, I, you know, don't think too many people. Ask people that the address, and they'll be right in your front yard. They can come down. We can discuss it. It's not. It's no problem. <laughs> Thank you.
it goes on from there. Everybody knows the tune, but mm-hmm. I mean that that opening lick the first time I heard it, it was just like magical and eerie and creepy and mm-hmm. and all at the same time. And I was hooked ever since. Could you do that on a trumpet if forced to? <laughs> if forced to, yes, I could. It's in A minor, so we'd have to go through a little transposition to get it over to the trumpet. But we could, so we could certainly do it. It'd be a uh, you know much more mellow, even maybe. Who knows? It's Brainwash with Dr. Tom and Guitar Pick with Kyle Welch, Van Halen, Eruption. Uh, another one of the quintessential guitar things that I think you know is on, would be on everybody's list. I remember the first time hearing that going, oh my god, that's one guy can do that? And, and just being like, uh, I gotta sit down now, you know? <laughs> yeah, and and I, I didn't actually hear it, you know, you always hear the, the lick from the, of course, the Kink song. The, I don't remember ever hearing the intro to that until maybe the third or fourth time that I heard that, and I said, "Well, that's actually two different songs." I said, well, "What's the name of this? It's Eruption." You know, well, it certainly is. <laughs> you know, and um, just to demo a little bit of that. Sure. Uh, and of course, we got the amp turned up now, <laughs> but um, you know, going through with the. because you're doing all the work. Right? right, it's all of the two-hand finger-tapping deal. And, uh, of course, that's just a little section of the thing, and I don't play it probably nearly as fast as it is on the record. Um, but just mm-hmm. thought that was phenomenal. And the way it kind of goes through the chord changes and kind of progresses into you know, a minor, and now we're a major, and now we're minor again, all the way up to the end is really, was really exciting, actually, the first mm-hmm. time I heard that. Uh, before we get too far on the list, can you tell us about the, the, the guitars that you're playing for us today? Uh, sure. Um, the guitar I'm playing right now is, she's my baby. Um, it's a Paul Reed Smith Custom 22. And when I was 19, I had a job delivering pizzas. And I, and I delivered pizzas, worked in uh, a Papa John's for probably two good solid years and just put every, stashed everything in the bank and I've, I got this guitar. I knew what I wanted. I ordered it from the factory with all the mm-hmm. options that I wanted. At the time, there was a four, four month wait to get a Paul Reed Smith uh, from the factory, brand new. And I got lucky, mine came in a month and a half. I think the factory had a, some kind of mix up with an order or something like that, and I got a little lucky. So that's uh, my electric guitar. My classical is uh, uh, Manuel Contreras, uh, it comes from Spain, and it's uh, kind of a conservatory model, classical guitar. Um, it's held up great through many hours of, of, of practice, so she's kind of my other baby. but. Um, the woods on that guitar are awesome. It has a, a Canadian cedar top, Indian rosewood on the back and sides, and mahogany neck with an ebony fretboard. 